Hey, good afternoon. It's uh, Jeff Waite here at StockIdeas.org, and I just want to do a quick book review of Reminiscence of a Stock Operator by Edwin Lefebvre. The foreword is by Roger Lowenstein, so you know it's good. Um, and if you're not familiar with this book, it was originally published in 1923. Uh, so it is a classic, time-tested. Um, it follows the life of Jesse Livermore, who was one of the first big successful uh, kind of speculators, I guess, of the day. And, you know, the book really is is pretty biographical. It just starts uh, with young Livingston, as he's known in the book, um, going around different bucket shops, uh, which were sort of like the poor man's brokerage house uh, back in the day. Um, and it kind of explains how he got involved in stocks, how he started making money, when he started losing money, how he made all the money back. Uh, and it's just a really, a really cool story. And, you know, it's definitely clear that the uh, tendencies of human nature and market psychology were just as applicable 100 years ago uh, as they are today. So that's kind of cool. And then, you know, the other really neat thing about this book is that uh, the, the main character here, Jesse Livingston, as he's known, it's actually Jesse Livermore in real life, but uh, it's, a, it's a kind of a thinly veiled uh fictionalized yet yeah, based on a real thing uh, just the name has kind of been changed but uh, Livermore was really a, uh, a technician really focused on price action how stocks were moving um, you know volume and price patterns they, they didn't have charts back then um, he had you know used like tables and tracked prices by hand and um, you know definitely didn't have the technology we have today but still managed to make uh, millions of dollars, and this is 1920s money, so, uh, you know, he had a, a yacht that he went to work in. Um, really a <laughs> big, big spender. Um, and it's just cool that, uh, you know, this, how this book really kind of gives some insight into um, price action in its most basic sense. There's a lot of discussion about um, you know, buying stocks that are breaking out to new highs on high volumes and uh, adding to the positions as they increase um, based on, on normal pullbacks is really something uh, eye-opening to see kind of how, you know, even back in the day when they were calculating moving averages by hand and when there, there wasn't a lot of the information we have today available, um, you know, Livermore was able to just you know, really trade the hell out of the market. Um, and Livermore, you might not know it, and actually I think this book was published in 1923 originally, so it's not actually in this, but uh, Jesse Livermore, the focus of Lefebvre's book, he actually shorted the stock market during the 1929 crash and made something like $7 million. Um, so, you know, this guy is definitely not afraid to play both sides of the market. Um, high intensity kind of gambler, go get him type, and it's a really entertaining read. Um, and actually, you know, you, it's a quick read. It's about 250 pages here. Uh, the type is small enough, but, but not hard to read. Um, pages aren't too big. And even though it was written 100 years ago, the language is actually quite simple to understand. Easy English. Um, and, you know, you can just tear right through it. So I highly recommend checking out Reminiscences of a Stock Operator. You can, for more information and more in-depth look at uh, exactly what the book covers, what the strong points are, and what it doesn't cover, um, check out the link below this video. Click through to stockideas.org. There's a ton of book reviews, including a more in-depth review of this. Um, and I think you'll really like what you see. So thanks a lot for watching this video. Uh, check out stockideas.org and definitely uh, check out Reminiscence of a Stock Operator by Edwin Lefebvre. Can't recommend it enough.